Harump's number one media source for local news, weather, and sports. Good evening. It's Tuesday, February 26. Get Indiana's weather on Indiana's Fox. DWTV at the heart of Europe. Hello, everyone, and welcome to DWTV's special coverage of the latest events in Japan. I'm Megan Lee in Berlin. And I'm Sarah Kelly at the business desk. Japanese engineers are stepping up efforts to prevent a meltdown at the nuclear power plant damaged in last Friday's earthquake. This is an ABC News special report. Disaster in the Pacific. Good afternoon. I'm Diane Sawyer at ABC News. You're watching WMUR News 9 this morning with Amy Covino and meteorologist Josh Judge. The news continues right now. Welcome back, 7.07 on 1010. No one covers New Hampshire like we do. We're WMUR News 9. The news continues right now. Good morning at 7.30. I'm Amy Covino. Here's a look at... Judge Best Newscast in New York State. Channel 2 News Daybreak starts now. Good morning, everybody. Winter weather advisories and warnings are in effect for much of western New York as the snow continues to fall. And a school district is in shock over the sudden death of one of its students allegedly killed by a family member. Today is Monday, February 21st, 2011. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Daybreak. Coming up on 5 o'clock this morning, and Andy, the snow falling... New York wants the news from our community. At 5, they turn on 4. For the most content, breaking news, and important information, at 5 o'clock, it's News 4. The newscast for the names you know and trust. Don Postles, Jackie Walker, Al Fathers, Luke Moretti, Lori Schultz, Rich Newberg, George Rickert, Sports with John Murphy, and Western New York's most reliable meteorologist, Don Vaughn. At 5, turn on 4. News 4 at 5, keeping you connected. On air, online, on the go. We broke into the house. While we're in the house, we discovered that there were two people in there and killed them both. He was abandoned at birth and spent over half his life in prison. I was deemed one of the 64 most dangerous and disruptive people in the prison system. Gangs, drugs, crime led to his downfall. Now he brings his story to young people in hopes of scaring them straight. Can he make a difference? News 4's Lori Schultz finds out what turned this killer's life around. Monday on News 4 at 5. This is News 4. More content. Another problem has cropped up with the new federal courthouse project. Important information you need to know. NFTA passengers are fuming when it comes to crowded rides on the metro. More severe winter weather warnings. We do have the wind chill advisory. We also have blowing snow that's going to be worsening during the evening. News 4 and WIPB.com, Western New York's number one news organization. Keeping you connected on air, online, on the... This is the weekend edition of Fox 8 News, the place to be at 10 o'clock. Just forget about that recent warm weather. Winter has roared. Good evening. The flood advisory continues tonight here in West. You're watching CW23 WNLO. This is WTAJ News at 11. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm John Clay. There is a huge party.
from your news leader. You're watching WTAJ News at 11 with John Clay and Carolyn Donaldson. Joe Murgo has your storm tracker forecast and Nick Foley has your sports. WTAJ News at 11 continues. Well, did you go to work today uh, with a day like today? You count on WTAJ News to deliver news, weather, and sports information. We take that very seriously. That's why we have more local reporters than any other station in the area. WTAJ, your news leader. And Clearfield. Coverage you can count on across the Alleghenies. You're watching WJAC TV News at 5. 20 state inmates are taken from the Bedford County Correctional Facility. Good WJAC TV's severe weather team early warning Doppler radar. Now with greater detail and more information. Weather in the Alleghenies can change quickly at any moment. Our commitments give you the earliest warning possible means constant upgrades to the severe weather center. We can tell you when the storm will hit your neighborhood. Trust the WJAC TV severe weather team for weather coverage you can count on across the Alleghenies. It's the TriStar. More than 24 hours after a domestic call in the police pursuit. For complete coverage of daily news where you live, watch WJAC TV News. Coverage you can count on across the Alleghenies. WJAC Severe Weather Center is now equipped with the most powerful radar in the region. Our live early warning Doppler radar revolutionizes our ability to see storms. Allowing us to provide you with earlier warnings. Weather coverage you can count on. From WSYR 92, this is News Channel 9 at 10 o'clock. Good evening, everyone. I'm James Gaddis. Well, the snow. Now. The search is on in Lysander for a man spotted rummaging through apartments in Radisson. From Colorado to New York, bracing for a messy mix of ice and snow, a winter storm is heading our way. First, National Grid announces plans to slash jobs. We're live at the local headquarters with details on the effects in central New York. From WSYR TV Syracuse, now in high definition, this is News Channel 9 at 5 o'clock. Good evening, everyone. I'm Rod Wood. And I'm Carrie Lazarus. National Grid is undergoing a massive restructuring and says it has to cut 1,200 jobs in the process. Now, the news comes a little over. Well, uh... from WSYR TV, this is News Channel 9. We've heard uh, Rick Reagan say so many times. You're watching News Channel 9 at 530 with Rod Wood. Carrie Lazarus and Storm Team Chief Meteorologist Dave Longley. News Channel 9, the local station. Since 1962, News Channel 9 has redefined the standards in local news. A leader in innovation, never compromising, committed to serving you. And now, News Channel 9 is Central New York's first and Central New York's only local news in true high definition. Crystal clear, clearly better. News Channel 9, the local station. From WSYR TV Syracuse, now in high definition, this is News Channel 9 at 6. Good evening, I'm Carrie Lazarus. And I'm Rod Wood. It is a pain. You're watching News Channel 9 at 6 o'clock with Rod Wood and Carrie Lazarus, Storm Team Meteorologist Dave Longley, and Stephen Fonte Sports. News Channel 9, the local station. You're watching WSYR DT 9.2 Syracuse. From WSYR 9.2 Syracuse, this is News Channel 9 at 10. Good evening, I'm Christy Casciano, and news is breaking tonight, a weekend. Now at 11, a story you'll only see right here on NBC3, a dog left for dead in Cuga County, continuing her recovery. We'll tell you what veterinarians are saying tonight about what might happen to her leg. The tragic death of Jenny Lynn Watson is raising awareness about abusive relationships. I'm Alex Dunbar. That story's coming up.
Plus, new details tonight in a fatal crash in Moravia as an SUV collides with a school bus. NBC3 News at 11 starts right now. From CNY Central, this is NBC3 News at 11. Now in enhanced widescreen. Good evening, I'm Matt Mulcahy. I'm Jackie Robinson. Tonight, people are reacting this evening. Telemundo Dallas. Informarle es nuestra prioridad. Su nueva fuente de información local, yo soy Norma García. Nuestro compromiso es proporcionarle cobertura sin igual de la información que más le interesa. A las 10, el resumen del día, con las noticias más relevantes de su comunidad. Evolucionando, pero ellos también dicen que la policía... El mejor noticiero local, con dedicación y esfuerzo por usted, para usted. Telemundo Dallas, comprometidos contigo. Tomorrow on today, U.N. Ambassador Young from Nigeria with the story behind President Carter's first trip to black Africa. Also, the commissioner of the IRS. That's tomorrow morning on today. This is NBC News Update, brought to you by American Express Card. Here is Jessica Savage. Good evening. President Carter said today in Lagos, Nigeria, that he's trying to arrange a meeting of all parties in the dispute over Rhodesia's future. In the Middle East, Egypt's President Anwar Sadat said he would like to see the peace talks continue. Israeli Defense Minister Azar Weizmann will return to Egypt for that purpose this week. The latest suspects in the Hillside Strangler case may go free by Tuesday if Los Angeles police don't come up with further evidence linking them to the murders of 13 young women. And the Postal Service says Americans got taken for a billion dollars worth of mail order fakes this year. Much of the business is legitimate, but the Postal Service says you have to watch out for the offers that are just too good to be true. I'm Jessica Savage in New York. More news later on this NBC station. Good evening. It's 11 o'clock in the nation's capital. Martin Wyatt has highlights of the bullets, caps, golf, you name it. Paul Anthony has the week's weather outlook. I'm Ann Sawyer. This is news. A joint communique winding up President Carter's visit to Nigeria indicates that country does not share his displeasure over Cuban and Soviet personnel in Africa. This is Bill Aylward, News Center 4. Coming up, two New York City policemen shot to death, the latest in the Hillside Strangler case. Some middlemen who helped drive up food prices, a Frisbee festival, and Paul Anthony with the week's weather. I'm See Bob Gregory for the weather tonight at 10.15. Issues and Answers brings you two special half-hour programs, both dealing with the presidential campaign of 1976. In the first half-hour, one of the nation's most significant Senate races, Daniel P. Moynihan, liberal Democratic candidate from New York, Senator James L. Buckley, conservative Republican from New York, both running for the United States Senate from New York, a political showdown of national significance providing a test of conservative versus liberal philosophy in New York and in the nation. In the second Issues and Answers half hour, President Ford's economic advisor, William Seidman, and Jimmy Carter's economic issues coordinator, Jerry Jasanowski, with two contrasting views of the nation's economy, prices, wages, employment, and inflation, the most important domestic issues in the presidential campaign. From the nation's capital, from news centers around the world, from America's farms and factories, cities and suburbs, from wherever thoughtful people search for answers to the issues of the day, ABC News presents the award-winning interview program, Issues and Answers. Issues and Answers is brought to you by Exxon. A leader. Stay tuned for the number one newscast in Indiana on WRTV, Indianapolis. Live from the news leader, Howard Caldwell, Clyde Lee, Ken Double Sports, and meteorologist Bob McClain. Good evening to you. Investigate. Entertainer Kenny Rogers, Monday on Live at 5.
This is News 4 New York with Chuck Scarborough and Sue Simmons. Good evening. Sue is off tonight. I'm Pat Harper. Two desperate American hostages make a televised plea for freedom. Still ahead tonight, the government's star witness in the New York City corruption trial is cross-examined and admits to lying. Gay Pressman reports from New Haven. A dock worker's strike that was marked by violence comes to a temporary end. And just after you figured out Rubik's Cube, now there's Rubik's Magic. Ben Farnsworth reports when News 4 continues. News for New York is sponsored by NatWest USA. Everyone. This is News Center 13 with Patrick Emery, Cameron Harper, weather with Bob Gregory, and sports director Don Hine. Good evening to you. The whole purpose of Kurt Waldheim's visit to Iran was to meet with the Ayatollah Khomeini. But in now, Lord Bowen talks about state help for Chrysler. Those stories and more next. Eyewitness. But next up, Bob Gregory will look ahead to the weather for the first weekend of 1980. When we come back, we'll tell you about the end of an era on the boardwalk. Don't go away. Lazarus. Next on Channel 13, we will have more for you from the News Center tomorrow at 6, 7, and 11. Do have a very pleasant good evening. See this live from the news center of Indiana. Cameron Harper, Terry Jackson, Bob Gregory AccuWeather, and Don Hines Sports. This is News Center 13 update. Good evening, everyone. It's 11 o'clock. Hey, parents, do you know where your children are? From the news center of Indiana, tonight, Barry Judd, Cameron Harper, Bob Gregory Accuweather, and Don Hines Sports. This is News Center 13 Update. Good evening, everyone. It's 11 o'clock, and a vote on a higher federal gasoline tax could come at any minute. Jail and flooding causes millions of dollars damage in Missouri. You're watching News Center 13, Indiana's most honored news team. They try hard to be the best. It's nice to know people think they're succeeding. Thank you, Indiana. From that's it uh, for the update tonight. Thank you for uh, joining us. Kim Sanders and Lou Till will be here tomorrow. Thanks again and good night. <laughs> This is CBS. Down on robberies in Indianapolis, Jim. Alabama beating up on LSU and college football, Jay. Skies are clearing up and temperatures are falling. Trudy. Thanks, Jay. On the Sea News is coming next. Stay with us. Channel 8, Indiana's number one news station. Lately, their numbers have grown. Criminals who use guns or the threat of violence to rob citizens and businesses. Starting this week, if you're 16 years old and you commit a robbery, you're going to be tried as...
coming on the scene, dangerous chemicals are moved out of the Hoosier State, and nearly 100 evicted nursing home patients in Hammond are finding new homes. That and more when we return. Hey, there was a story on the Police Olympics when we come back. No rain over the Channel 8 viewing area. The heartbeat of Indianapolis changes at night, and a new picture of our city takes shape. As Channel 8's on the scene news expands to a full hour at 10 with Nightbeat. Now Josh Lipman joins Mike Ahern every weeknight for a special in-depth local update with Ed Harding and Stan Wood following our regular report. Eight on the scene news with night. Where the news leaves off, the beat goes on. Weeknights at 10 o'clock. Our time is running out. Bowman for... Thanks for being with us. We hope you're having a safe holiday weekend. For Jay Johnson and Jim Barber, I'm Trudy Yarnell. Good night. The 1981 U.S. Open highlights from the National Tennis Center in Flushing Meadow, New York, are sponsored by IBM, helping put information to work for people, and by Light Beer, everything you always wanted in a beer and less. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to night number five of our U.S. We interrupt this program for a special report from News 4 New York. Good evening, I'm Chuck Scarborough. We have gotten a lot of telephone calls from worried viewers in the metropolitan area who said they thought they felt an earthquake just before 7 tonight. They were right. According to the United States Geological Survey, the entire northeast and parts of Canada were rocked by a strong earthquake. It measured 6.4 on the Richter scale, and Al Roker has more on the extent of this quake. Al? Thanks a lot, Chuck. Well, right now it looks like that the earthquake's epicenter was just 90 miles north of Quebec, up in Canada. It occurred at... A fatal plane crash near a crowded New Jersey resort. Now from WWOR TV, Ridge Wells, Jennifer Volapi, and Sports with Matt Schwartz. This is News 9 Weekend. Good evening. Jennifer has the night off. At least three people are dead, killed in a plane crash in northwestern New Jersey. Police say Carl Sharkin with all today's sports. And coming up, Reg, we're going to look at a heck of a horse race, the Haskell Invitational. And you're invited to take another look at the Mets and Expos. Can't get enough of the good stuff now, can you? Imagine Haskell, huh? That's it for News <laughs> 9 Weekend. Thanks for joining us. Be sure to join us on Monday for News 9 at noon. I'm Reg Wells. Good night. Good night. If you see news happening, call the News 9 hotline at 1-800-537-9999. News, Colorado's 24-hour news source. From Channel 9 in Denver, this is 9 News, Colorado's news leader, with Ward Lucas, Rosemary Collins, Amy Haston, and Tom Green. 9 News, number one in Colorado. Good evening, thanks for joining us in El Paso. From Channel 9 in Denver, this is 9 News, Colorado's news leader. With Ed Sardella, Mike Landis, Paula Woodward, Dave Sweeney, and Ron Zapolo. 9 News, number one in Colorado. 
Hello, everyone. Hate-related crimes seem to be on the increase. The FBI is under new... Now, from WBAY TV 2, celebrating 40 years of making a difference. You're watching Northeast Wisconsin's News Leader. This is Action 2 News at 10. Everybody else knew what was... This is WFRV TV 5, Green Bay, Fox Cities. Now, with all the news for Northeast Wisconsin, this is Eyewitness News at 6. I uh, wish that... And tonight, a major employer in the Fox Cities is sold. But what will it mean to workers? We'll find out. And could these pieces of history be holding up the future of a Green Bay neighborhood? We'll find out next. You're watching Channel 5 Eyewitness News at 6. With Tom Milburn, Aaron Davison, Chief Meteorologist Tom Mahoney, and Larry McCarran with sports. What is... Eyewitness News continues for Nina Manasha, the Lakeshore, and Green Bay. It's expected to be business as usual at one of Appleton's largest employers. That is... Crime. You could be a victim, or you could fight back. Do you know how to outsmart car thieves? Do you know how to protect one of your biggest investments? Tomorrow night, Eyewitness News will show you how to keep your vehicle safe. We'll show you how car thieves break in and give you special techniques you can use to slow them down or discourage them from trying. Tomorrow on Eyewitness News at 10, the look of a leader. Station, WSTM-TV. And now, Channel 3 News at 6. With John Nicholson and Lisa Schweitzer. Roger Springfield on sports. And meteorologist Wayne Mahar. Good evening. What you are eating could kill you. In fact, we're told... ...are accused of leading state... From the WIXT9 Broadcast Center, Rod Wood and Carrie Lazarus, Doug Logan on sports, and Rick Gary with weather. This is 9 Eyewitness News. This sheriff's deputy has lived under a cloud for 11 years now. Tonight, that cloud has been lifted. Good evening, everyone. Since 1978, Lens... Morning. Tragedy Sunday at Chicago's Conrad Hilton Hotel. Best quarterback in the state, right here on the Central Coast. All this and more, next. You're watching KSBY TV. And now, KSBY News Update with Rick Martell and Sandra Moss. Weather with Mike McCartney and Mitch Massey on sports. A real stumper tonight for local lawmen. Good evening, everybody. I'm Sandra Moss. And tonight, Pismo ensure the Pope gets a good night's sleep and digging up a colorful past in Santa Barbara. Watching KSBY TV. This is Action News with Alan Schaffler. Weather with David Hefferman. And John Wallahan with sports. And now, Action News at 11. One man said, I've been waiting 40 years for this. He was talking. You're watching KCOY TV News Watch 12, the Central Coast's most comprehensive report of today's local and regional news with Dave Hefferly. Susan Cluffley. 
Jim Barrick with the weather, and Tim O'Leary with sports. Good evening. San Luis Obispo City officials were in federal court today to defend about a new helmet law that could affect every motorcycle rider in the state. That is next on Newswatch 12. Yeah, well, I have a good evening. Monday on WBZ's I-Team. The patient comes into the operating room and the attending physician is there. And then when they get put to sleep, he disappears and residents do the surgery. And then when they wake up, the attending physician is there, abracadabra. That happens a lot? All the time. And the patient doesn't know it? The patient doesn't know. Doctors in training, are they practicing on you without you knowing it? And who's watching them? Joe Bergantino and the I-Team, starting Monday at 11, only on WBZ News 4. Everyone. Now, News 11 tonight, live from Green Bay, Appleton, the Lake Shore, and throughout the Fox Valley, with Brian Knox, Jeff Connor with sports, Mike Osterhage with weather, and on the scene reports from the News 11 team. Quite an afternoon over Lambeau Field today is the world champion high field of Packers taking on the 49ers. Don't go away. Newspaper. As this first weekend in November draws to a close tonight, just a reminder, Terry Barr, Jack Jones, tomorrow, back here at 6.30. Hope you had a good one, folks. We'll see you next week. A weekend washout next on Channel 2 News at 11 o'clock. Another dangerous storm hits the tri-state area with a jolt bringing more rain. And trouble to our beaches, sewage closing many Long Island area beaches and bad weather putting a damper on business in New Jersey. Also tonight, meet a real-life Robin Hood who stole from Uncle Sam and gave to the poor. Plus, a salmonella outbreak hits people hard in New Jersey. And then, baby, you can drive their car. The Beatles' Bentley's up for sale. Plus, Mr. G's tracking the storm and Warner's got rain delays. All coming up next at 11. Attack of the Killer Disco, Monday at 4.30. Now, Ernie Anastas, Michelle Marsh, Warner Wolf with sports, and Mr. G with weather, the first team. This is Channel 2 News at 11. Good evening, I'm Ernie Anastas. And I'm Michelle Marsh, and here's what's happening tonight. Another... Delaware Valley's leading news program with Jeff Skaversky, meteorologist Adam Joseph, and Rob Jennings. Tonight, I can report to the American people and... Family 49, it's all good.